How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are having a good time. Mostly Nate. And, well, I mean Noodle too, of course, but I know how Noodle is. I've talked to her. So anyways, <laughs> for anyone who hasn't been paying attention on Discord, just real quick before we get in to it, I did finally add a couple more games to the collection. I got the Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. Looks pretty decent. I got Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, uh, mostly for Rue, but also because, you know, I wanted them. I got... Sea Monsters, a prehistoric adventure, uh, which reminds me I need to change the goal. We're going to do that real quick here in just a moment. I got Friends, the one with all the trivia. Noodle, 100%. Resident Evil Code Veronica X, just because, you know, Resident Evil. And Red Dead Revolver, which should be fun. So, uh, so yeah, real quick before we get into the game tonight, I guess we should probably go ahead and roll on what the next goal game is, huh? Yes to collection. Ah, oh, it's on your list. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good so far. I uh, a buddy of mine let me borrow the Manwa up for it, and uh, once I finish the first volume, I realize that hey, there's actually a uh, what call it for it a a novelization of it. Uh, you know, it was based on a novelization. Or, or on a novel, rather. Anyways, point is, I was like, well, damn, I'd rather just read that one, to be honest. So, so yeah. So, I uh, I picked it up. And hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it continues to be good. It's been really good so far. But I've only read uh, about half of the first book so far. Anyways. Let's, uh, yeah, let's figure out what the hell we're going to try and get next, shall we? We did roller. No, not weighted roller. We dump set. How do we do this? <laughs> Don't count owned. Count all of the ones that aren't owned, that haven't been streamed, that haven't been finished. That's what we want to do. There's a lot. So before we do actually roll on this, are there any votes that we need to throw in? On games that we don't own specifically is what we're looking for right now. Because we're going to have a new goal to buy game. We got another vote for Scooby from Rue. I'll go ahead and put that one in real quick. Even though we already got the game, the vote was in before I did it. So it would be an extra 10 votes. Uh, so you know what? Just... 860. There we go. Veggie Tales, gross. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's <laughs> Lily has to buy that one for us. It's already been decided. Jack 2, Resident Evil 4, uh, Tactics Advance, 10, Jack 2, Dragon Quest Pokemon, God of War, Jack 2, Eco. Eco. Oh god, there's a few of those. Not a few eco games, but a few, yeah. 39, 20. So we got one for eco, crystal, beautiful Joe. We got one there. Another one for eco. And another one for Scooby. Okay, let's get 4,020. Uh, let's grab the beautiful Joe one before I forget. You it fool. Hey, what's up, Chocobo? 4,001, and then another one for Scooby, which would be 10, because the vote was in before I actually bought the game. 170, okay. Are we missing any? Final Fantasy 10, 10, Crystal. Wait. Why are these Final Fantasy X ones? Oh, <laughs> those were the joke ones from Chocobo. <laughs> because of Final Fantasy sixteen. Duh. Uh, do you want us to put those on Beautiful Joe, Chocobo, or anything in particular? Because I've seen three of them so far. <laughs> I see another one for Beautiful Joe, though. So let's throw that one in. Beautiful Joe, okay. So 41... 4101, sure. Okay, so that'd be another 300. 4401. Okay, let me just clear all the stuff out that we just did. 
Crystal Jack, Jack, Crystal, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X, and there we go. All right, we're all caught up. Now we'll do the roll. As always, though, the first one doesn't count. It's just an example. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen before, I have this handy-dandy little spreadsheet that helps us track the votes and the games and all of that BS. So we click this toggle number button. A random number pops up eventually. In this case, 7,190. So if we scroll far enough, there's a lot of games to randomly pick from here. Eventually, we'll get to 7,190. Uh, right there. So in this case, it was Eco is what the game would have been. But it's always... The first one's always an example, so I'm going to toggle off the toggle number button and after a moment i'm going to turn it back on and whichever one we roll on will be the next game we try to pick up specifically the next goal game uh, a lot of these votes also roll over to whenever we pick up the game so it also kind of helps out there anyways so in this case we get 4113 just a little bit higher up grim grimoire there we go at least it's a game with votes there's so many that's been the one problem with voting on games that we don't own there are so freaking many of them <laughs> that uh it takes a lot of votes to really like yeah <laughs> really add up to anything right because i mean there's if this starts at 51 and goes down to 1,591 <laughs> so there's 1,540 games give or take um that that yeah <laughs> just automatically get like one point hence why I do 100 times multipliers for for these games whenever people vote to help those ones out but anyways okay so we are going to attempt to find a reasonable copy of Grim Grimoire here soon uh, let me just mark that real quick, update the thingy, and then we will get started. This is the wrong page. Grim Grimoire. So votes would be 63 divided by 10, and notes uh, next to buy. Okay. Take us back to here. I can close that now. Oh, wait, nope. I still need a web page up, actually. Because I, I don't know how much Grim Grimoire cost. Grim Grimoire. Complete in box is 2374. So 24 plus 5 for shipping. 29 will be our goal. Da 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 As soon as it loads. My god, it's taking forever. You are saved on a NVMe SSD. There is no excuse. There we go. Thank you. I think I spelled that right. S. There we go. We can close that. We can close that. And that. And now we can get into the game. Let's freaking go, dudes. No saving, no loading. Where the hell were we? <laughs> okay. I'm assuming we stopped at Nectar to remind me that there was a hunt. No, don't ask about the hunts. I know what the hunts are. I clicked the wrong button. I apologize. View the hunt board. Uh, or not. Did we already do the hunt? We must have already done the or already did the hunt. Okay. Do we have any side quests? Did we complete all the side quests? None in the hideaway. None anywhere. Let's freaking go, dude. Getting straight into the story shit for the night then. That's exciting. Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. I mean, Yet he's still, got a point, it was dude. Not enough. 
The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have Rue, hello! Powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Two exciting pieces of news. I don't know if you noticed in the uh, image I shared of the games I bought, but one, we got Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. So yay, we'll probably be playing that, trying it out at least for the gauntlet the first day that we go back to that because it has a lot of votes. Um, and, <laughs> and then we just rolled... For the new game for us to collect here soon, it's Grim Grimoire. The one uh, made by the same people that made... Whatchamacallit? Uh, Odin, Odin Sphere. So hopefully we'll be picking that up relatively soon. Depends how soon I get money. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Good guy, Dion, dude. What is this place? Yeah, the little girl saved you. Don't move. I know I say it every night, but your boy is fucking tired, dude. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. I am dying right now. Oh, man. The chair is so much lower Here, than usual. It's fresh from the well. Same. And dude mood. <laughs> oh, God. I feel it. I want to restart, but I've done so much in the game. I also don't want to. What game? Mass Effect 3? 2? 3. I'm guessing 3. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of yawning tonight. I'm dying. Mass Effect 2 and only 2. I don't want to go back to 1. <laughs> Did you not really like 1? Or like... You just like 2 that much more? The Fiend works from the shadows. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing. My fault. My sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. Your hurts? <laughs> it was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> you're going then. I mean, you're of still course. a prince, right? I'm healed. Thanks Probably at least pay for the boxes. little girl to eat. <laughs> Will you just, promise to come back and uh, visit? I just wanted to start again for a different class. Ah, uh, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, even my favorite games, man, once I, I beat them, I usually don't want to go right back to them, or back to them right away, you know? Like, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, mostly 1 and 2, are <laughs> some of my favorite games of all time. But I still usually only play them once every, like, couple of years. Oh, Phoenix. It would seem that I owe you my wings. Is Dion going to be the one to take down Barnabas, dude? Battle of Light and Darkness and all that stuff? Perhaps. It makes sense. An answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason That'd be awesome. Yeah, until fucking I Barnabas goes to outer space and just slices the entire you. world in half. Like. <laughs> but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are ya? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. Yes, <laughs> Mom, I'll take my damn mess. We assume that the God. whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The professor. I'll go and tell you come in. Yeah, that was on purpose. I was fixing my I'll be chair. Shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. Is back. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. This recklessness. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> I do. Please, just no side quests. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. I know there's gonna end up being more before the game's over, but just just a break from them, please, dude. Well, we got hunts at least. I see that. Okay, if it's just hunts, I'm okay with this. I'm gonna go check our messes real quick, though. Finals crunch time. Extra fun, eh? I, uh, I was lucky. I didn't really have to worry about finals that much when I went to college. We had finals, of course, but, um, I was pretty well prepared. Just because, you know, what I went for, I was already pretty decent at. So, like, yeah. Boo, boo you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah i get it i get it <laughs> i've i've always been a pretty decent test taker and then um you know what i what i went for software engineering was something i was uh really passionate about and quite enjoyed and thankfully was pretty pretty decent at um once you know i actually started so it went it went pretty well for me thankfully but yeah you do i agree with noodle you got this dude you got this anxiety for me says no <laughs> yeah i uh kind of i guess i always got some test anxiety but not like not bad you know which is weird <laughs> Since, you know, my generalized anxiety disorder gives me anxiety over fucking everything. But, uh, I've never been that bad with tests, though. Like I said, pretty, pretty lucky in that regard. Always been a decent test taker. Question mark. Question mark, question mark. A caravan of traders traversing the Velcroy told me of a colossal beast they had encountered on their journey. To hear them tell it, it had the aspect of a dragon, a lion, and a scorpion all at once. Also, it's another one of the things that we just fought. Uh, Chimera. Might not be but a mirage, a phantasm brought about by the desert heat, but the sweat which ran down their foreheads was cold and the fear in their eyes real. Traversing the Velcroy. Well, we know it's got to be in Dalmechia. Okay, and here's the Velcroy. They didn't specify whether it was north or south, though. So I guess it could be either. I mean, there's a couple different places I could see there being. 
Like, I, the whole northern Valkyrie Desert looks like a pretty decent place. Up here somewhere, maybe? For the southern side, I don't really see, like, a good spot. Technically, I mean, like, anywhere inside it would be fine. Dalmechia, unlike the other ones, doesn't seem to have a whole lot of just obvious boss arenas. I mean, this... Surge's Weft, I'm, that might be worth checking first. Although we just had that encounter there, st story encounter there, so I don't know. Or no, that wasn't where the story encounter was, was it? No, it was... Bro, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I guess it could be, like, there, maybe? I don't know. I guess, like, the only way to find out is to just go and run around <laughs> and find out, man. What class did I do? Like I said, you were doing infiltrated, but you kind of want to do adept or something. Anything but soldier, because I like doing the back and snipey snipe. <laughs> what are the options? It's been too long since I've played Mass Effect. And even longer since I've played, or I've never played, rather, Mass Effect 2. So what are the options in, in 2 for classes? So we're looking for a giant chimera. You would think it wouldn't be too hard to find, but I guess that's too. Oh, I can walk from well, here. okay. Guess it's not going in here. Still bothers the hell out of me that there's no like. You know, you can't find information about these hunts from people. These mystery hunts. I mean, I understand it's all just like... The mystery hunts are kind of like myth almost, right? Like... Like just, just tales being told sort of thing. But it'd still be neat if I could just talk to the townspeople or something and get... At least like a general area that way. And there's a sandstorm cooking up. Does that mean anything? Doesn't seem to. Adept Engineer Vanguard and Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel? What's Adept? <laughs> Bro, it's been so long. I don't remember. We need Nate. <laughs> Or my brother. I know my brother has played them recently. I need one of them to, to hop in, man. <laughs> They'd be able to help you pick one really easy. <laughs> Sentinel, I'm assuming, is like a tank. Engineer. Are, are there items? Vanguard? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. An adept? Would adept just be like your basic bitch? That's what adept sounds like to me, right? No, don't teleport toward him. I'm trying to run away. I don't care to fight him. I'm just trying to find the thingy. The hunt. Where is the hunt? Snowstorm would be perfect for a chimera to just hop out of nowhere. Sentinel is tech. All right. And biotic. Vanguard is the biotic combat, so that's the tank. Engineer is plain tech. Okay. I mean, Sentinel still sounds like a pretty decent choice to me. Nice mix of the two. Kind of your, your balance bitch, then. Oh, that's the Chronolith. I don't suppose the Chimera would be up here, too? No. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is that... No, that's just a salamander. And I got my hopes up. It 
so throw's pretty self-explanatory. What does singularity do? Yeah, I'm not seeing any chimeras here. So... I mean, I guess it would take about the same amount of time if we teleport it back. I think we're going to check up here in this corner, maybe. Black hole that causes damage and paralyzes people. Ooh. That sounds nice. And I've watched a little bit of many a true nerd play Mass Effect 1. Um no guns <laughs> and i'm pretty sure he was using throw a lot but whenever i played i think i was like 90 percent just regular you know guns and shit so at least from what i remember i don't think i ever really got into the future magic that much So I see an ether flood over here. Would it be like over there maybe? I mean, the last time we saw a chimera was near an ether flood, but it had nothing to do with it, like specifically. Like it wasn't a Kashik or anything. But I suppose it's worth a look. There's a, I presume, a Kashik. Curl. Bunch of scorpions. Don't care. You are a curl, right? And not a chimera? Yeah, you're definitely a curl. Yeah. An Akashic curl, but a curl nonetheless. Now, the one problem is, though, a lot of times with these secret ones especially, they don't actually appear until you enter their arena. But so far, all of them have been more or less in arenas, so I wonder... There is that one spot, that one spot that looks like it could be an arena. Maybe we should go over there. It's not going to be over here with the salamander. We didn't unlock like any new areas just now, did we? I mean, we've been here before for a hunt, but that looks a bit like an arena. That's the, whatchamacallit. Um... Hot spring source. I, mean, I guess that kind of looks like a boss arena. Let's come here. Just check out the jaw real quick. I don't think it's going to be in the jaw, but it's relatively close to the sickle, which is a place I actually do want to check. I remember we had one right here on the road at one point. A hunt. I'll just keep running. I don't care about the leg eaters. Bro, seriously, just, <laughs> just ignore them. Let's go, dude. There's a birdie. Hi, birdie. Alright, you know what? Chocobo time. Oh, won't let us, presumably because we're in combat. Can we... Public and War Panther. Let's go. Are you new? I don't remember seeing that before. No mistakes. Was that always there? <laughs> Maybe. 
legit do not remember. I'm sure it is, but the Chocobo doesn't feel that much faster than running. But it has the benefit of not slowing down every time combat gets initiated. Which is something I'm just realizing, but a nice boon, like... This won't be easy. Come on, get off the wall. More leg eaters, don't care. Hmm... Okay, we still got a bit further to go. I was like, I don't know if it'll be here with all these other enemies. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be in here, dude. This might take a while. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, buh, buh, buh. where else? Looks like a boss arena. I'm always tempted just to look it up because there is the interactive interactive map that would just tell us to be honest but that feels like cheating I, mean, I guess it could be like here maybe and then from there we can run up that way I mean there's this here in the titan wake maybe we'll check that first Check Titan Wake. They really don't make it obvious in this map like they do the other ones. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Foster. Oh, stuck on the wall. Hi, doggies. Goodbye, doggies. And like, in the text, it did mention the Velcroy, but I don't know if that was actually a hint or if it was just like, you know, flavor. This might take a while. Because the idea that... You know, by by going through the whatchamacallit is why... Oh. <laughs> by going through the Velcro is why they were all so tired and quote-unquote hallucinating. Like, maybe that's what, what they were thinking with it. I don't know. Damn you. <laughs> we didn't have guard selected. Get him. Nice. I was hoping we could get that stagger off before he blew up. I was just fighting the guys because I wanted this chest. <laughs> I don't expect there to be anything particularly good, but you never know. Ring of the Demolitionist. Sounds neat, if nothing else. 
gear. Increases magic burst. Meh. <laughs> it's whatever, I guess. Can we, like, go through here? No. That looked like a doorway, secret little path or something. Uh, check the other side real quick, but I don't expect it to be over there. That everyone? That's everyone. Speak with Vivian Ninetales. I will eventually. Nectar gave me a job, and I'll be damned if I don't complete it. Just goblins? Meh. Meh to the goblins. Did we get the magic one? There we go. Goblins defeated. Oh, oh, damn. I just saw something big out of the corner of my eye. I got excited. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to be up there. That's way too small to house a chimera. Not even a chest or anything, though, really. No mistakes. that fire feel on your dick, dude? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> we pissed off these guys all the way over here, though. <laughs> that attack seriously has some range to it, man. A bit too much range, honestly. <laughs> like, damn you. Just need to die. Get him. Weaver's dead. I can't see shit. check there yet. That looks like a potential boss arena. It's right outside Tabor. Let's go to Tabor. And there's where we fought that one salamander outside of uh, Gervaz. Could be there maybe. And the, like it mentioned Velcroy, which makes me think it's somewhere to the north, but I didn't see it. Hmm. This way, yeah. 
This would be like a great place for it to just jump down from like one of these high rocks onto us or something. This does look boss arena-esque. Are you... You're just a salamander though. Or a hell guru, whatever. Not a chimera. Holding back. That's not bad for Stagger either, dude. <laughs> like, it's not nearly as good as Diamond Dust or anything, but not bad. Not here. Okay. Would it be in like a, a craggly area like that? Now let's check this one. We were just there for the story, so I don't think it would be there, but like, what do I know, dude? Hello, magically appearing chocobo. Faster. Oh, not that way. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Good job. Proud of you, boo. See the muggers. Just run right past them. And big jump. Oh, do, girl. caught on a invisible wall. It's too bad we never got to see this village like build up and shit, dude. Maybe before the end. Although, if it does get built up, we might end up having new quests for them. And like, that's the last thing we need, honestly. So it's probably for the best. It just stays the way it is. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. Through the leg eaters. I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere. It's roundish. Is that a chimera? What is that? Is there something there? No. No, uh, it just looks like a fucking Akashic Salamander again or something. God damn it, dude. Yeah, Akashic Salamander. Son of a bitch! Where is this thing? We've been here. What about there? No. Um. Okay. This is, fuck it, dude. I guess let's run around the desert for a little bit. Bruh. <laughs> I wish there was just some way to collect information to get hints about the these things. Because I don't want to just look it up. That feels like, I don't know, shit, but... Be nice to have a, a bit of a None guiding of hand though. This time. Like if we could just talk to this guy, the city watch dude. 
the guard or whatever. He'd be like, there's some weird ass shit going on down yonder over there. <laughs> some shit like that, you know? <laughs> That'd be incredibly helpful. God forbid if it is one of the ones that just pops out of the ground whenever you enter its arena, because then... <laughs> fuck, dude. How are we supposed to know if we go in the right area in that case? You just have to establish a sweeping pattern and go back and forth across the desert? Like, I don't think it's going to come down to that. I'm <laughs> probably just missing something on the map, and it's in a relatively obvious arena. They wouldn't put it over there, right? Where the, the fallen ruins are? I don't think they would. That'd be awfully close to the road for them not to know where it is, how to find it. Anything? I guess this place is pretty open in general down here. Maybe, big maybe, but maybe. Mm. Uh oh. This would be easy. Fuck. I mean, there's that we didn't look at when we were down there. It's kind of like a boss arena. Just so many fucking places it could be, dude. The angry, the, the angry, the, the angry fucking chimera. I can't, I can't speak English. No, okay, it wouldn't be over here, man. Surely, I can walk from here. one of these people would have seen something. I didn't realize there was anyone here when we were running through before. The, so they are starting to establish the village, at least. That's nice. Yeah, no. It's not gonna be here. Is that a chest, though? Hello, Mr. Chest. Useless, but thank you. Fuck. <laughs> we haven't checked the echoes at all. Let's go up there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to be anywhere up here, up here. This area is pretty small, though, so might as well take a look. Otherwise, our luck, it would end up being up here and... Would have wasted a bunch of time by not just checking first. Mm, no, okay. Doesn't look like it. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, dude. Is it this way? Yes. I think there's a curl over here. See? Don't care about the curl. Goodbye. There's 
this little area right here, but again, I don't think so. Yeah, no. It didn't look like somewhere there would be a boss fight, you know? Wait, the original Mass Effect games don't have skip cutscenes? <laughs> or skippable cutscenes? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> that is straight trash. I'm sorry. I'm okay, I guess, when games don't have skippable cutscenes for like the first playthrough. But on subsequent playthroughs, why the fuck wouldn't you give the players the option to skip the story bits if they want to? Like, they've already seen it once. Why force them to watch it all again? Skip through dialogues, for the most part. No skip cutscenes. Yeah. That's it, man. Just, like, press start and then X to confirm or something. You know? Like... Some way to do it. Arkashic shit. Ah, oh, I remember this spot. This is where that dude remembered us from. Or recognized us, rather. Not really remembered us from. He was, like, right here. He's gone now, though. Makes sense. Okay. Ooh, hello. Wish we could uh, grab the chest the from the chocobo. That'd be handy. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> okay, get the path. So I'm pretty sure we check there. We checked all of these places. We didn't really check the fields of Corva. Corava? We checked here. And we ran through there. We ran through the left side-ish of that at least. Guess we never did check Travaz to Warrens. I did mention wanting to check there at one point. How have we not even, like, just accidentally Welcome ran through it yet? Okay, so it if nothing else, you know? I've got a new design for a blade. That's cool. Uh, if you don't know where this thing is I'm hunting for, though, I really don't care. We're not allowed in the mines. So it's not going to be down there. What I mean, we did have... We did fight the one Chimera just like here in the middle of the fields. So maybe we'll fight a second one in the same set of fields? I don't know. I've seen dumber things before. Oh, this guy's a Kashik now. He wasn't before. So this is the southern Velcroy Desert. Which it did mention Velcroy. In the text for the hunt. Fly Ambrosia. Someone's brave. I got excited for a moment, man. Like <laughs> When I heard things popping up, I was like, is that it? Is it happening? No. Nope. No luck. Wouldn't be this close to the town, right? I'm gonna guess no. We've probably ran right past it like five times somehow. They're all chocobos. They're all garbage. I think we went all the way up this hill. 
fly, you fools. We should be able to make that jump, dude. We're on a freaking chocobo. They can kind of fly. Look at you. Oh, you're one of the leg eaters. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a cactus man or something. I was very confused. Back to the stables, girl. Check out the north side. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> We're probably just going to end up looking it up because I don't fucking know where to go for this thing. It'll be the first thing we looked up in the game. I think that's okay. How the hell did that bastard get through the desert gate? Where were the guard? Hmm. Wait, what bastard? No more hints? Nothing? Okay. Let's go. Faster. I guess really we we never really did explore this section of the desert just in general. Whenever we first got here, we just kind of ran straight to the mission area, which was the the town back there. I don't expect there to be anything particularly in, important or of interest, but probably worth a quick look around regardless just to see ah <gasps> is that him that's a chimera straight home now let's go dude or gamera if he really was just in the middle of nowhere at least we could see this one it didn't just like appear I don't like this. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's right. He uses magic. I vaguely remember the last Chimera fight. How much will this do? A lot. Not quite as much as I had hoped, but still a lot. But you know our block works. <laughs> So close, thank you. Could do a decent amount of damage. You ain't got nothing on the dragon we faced a while back, but. Still half his bar in one go though, like that's not bad, dude. He looks cool though, yeah, it is pretty sick design. Oh you bastard. What is this? Ow. <laughs> he just used fucking diamond dust on us, dude. Oh, God. I can't move that quickly. You bastard. Oh, 
What? How would he not? The only reason I stayed in there is because I thought we could stagger him before that ended. God, dude, there's so much shit going on. Nice parry, dude. Get fucked. He ain't gonna die. It's gonna do some damage, but he's fun. That one we actually have to run from. That one hurts. <laughs> GG, Mr. Gor Gorgamera, or whatever the fuck your name was. Hey, and thank you for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. And level 44, let's go. There's the final or calcum that we need for, to make our our full set of god gear, whatever the fuck the Ouroboros stuff is. But we still need other materials for it that we're missing. I'm pretty sure they're hunt materials too, so I don't know. I don't know, because <laughs> the hunts haven't unlocked, so I don't know how the fuck we're supposed to get those. In and I'm guessing we gotta wait until Walud, the final continent, is unlocked, and then we'll be able to get that stuff. I still say it were a compliment. I just don't see why, like, it unlocks the recipes so early if we can't actually craft the shit, anyways. We're gonna double check real quick, but I'm pretty sure it's just hunt materials that we're missing now. God, it's so small I can't see. Hold on. It looks uh, stoned. <laughs> so, yeah, we need dark steel and primitive battle steel and primitive battle horn, both of which are hunt materials. We need stone tongue, which is a hunt material. And then we need stained loincloth, which is a hunt material. Yes, <laughs> it's all it's all just hunt materials. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's speak to Vivian. Good old reliable Vivian, dude. We love her so much. And her maps. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. She annoying you. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. 
As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there huh. is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it oh, on wait. my map. Okay, now it is working now. <laughs> Tell us what we will find. <laughs> Fucking Mike, I forgot sure to you know get a new cord or try a new cord. But no splinters. Ow. All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Yes, ma'am. We understand. Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. What year are we in? And that the king still sits upon his throne 40 years, so 40 okay. years later. Quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. I was gonna say, couldn't we just land on one of those blight-infested ports? See, and... You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait, what new info does she actually have for us? Nah, I don't care. <laughs> I take it back. When you Go away. Yep, whatever. My map of Walud is in sore yep. need of mm -hmm. revision. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to listen to you talk. Fuck! <laughs> I already see a side quest, dude. Is it just the one? Phoenix, heal thyself. Okay. It might be just the one. We might be okay. Oh, god damn. 
Is it the shelves? Are the shelves Harpocrates? I'm assuming so. Please, your grace, stay strong. Stop, you take. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus Wouldn't far... Wouldn't it get a bit better if he just let effect. go of Ultima? Because, like... So I consulted with Talia and is Ultima really being restrained <laughs> at this point? ...finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies Always. are almost exhausted. Almost? Unless we can secure more soon. Your brother's anguish will likely oh. come unbearable. Is he already My using Lord, this elixir? I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. We just tell her no. <laughs> like, Joshua. Joshua will be fine. Fuck off. Anything. It's just rude, dude. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. That's fine, I don't mind. The search continues I'm for immune. a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it. The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant... The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Awesome, cool. <laughs> Thank you for that very long-winded explanation. Let's go get that shit. It is here? Is this the closest? Yeah. It's not going to end up being this easy, is it? This feels too simple for a side quest. To literally just grab one, yeah. one thing from down here and then fuck off. Like, I mean, obviously there's going to be some sort of beast or something guarding it, I'm sure, but... Even that seems just a bit too easy, man. They're not going to be, like, trampled and we'll have to find a second source or something. Oh, shit. Got to go across the bridge. Hold on. I'm coming. All right, well. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. Yeah, it's just regular creatures. Nothing crazy. There's only one thing for it. They all dead? They look dead. I should have done it the other way around. I should have used this to kill the little dudes and then save the diamond dust for the big dude here, but oh well.
Not terrible considering how many of our abilities we used beforehand. Imagine if we just fucking like destroyed the flowers because all the shit we're doing right now. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Come on, dude. You're dead. Just go down. GG you. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. Convenient place to end the battle here, right on right. top of it. That should do it. I am extremely suspicious of this side quest. That was way too simple. Very straightforward. Covered in nicks and lumps. Don't worry about us, little girl. We're fine. Couple nicks, couple lumps. It's nothing. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Whoa. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. You don't want to make lunches? I feel it, dude. I don't want to move. <laughs> well, I do. I want to move to the bed and just pass the fuck out. That's about it. think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. I believe in you, love. You got this. Oh, while it's on my mind, uh, tomorrow is Friday, but most likely not playing Grounded. Uh, my brother recently moved, and uh, the internet company hasn't gotten the internet up and running yet for him, so, yeah... <laughs> He doesn't really have much choice in the matter. How do you um, split the sea? So we may end up playing like Saturday night or Sun. Or wait, can't play Saturday night because I play D and D. Uh, Sunday night. We might end up playing Sunday night or something. I'm not really sure. He just said postpone, not skip. So I'm thinking he still wants to soon. Just can't on the normal Friday. So we'll see. We'll see. But we'll most likely be playing a little bit I more no 16 here. Otherwise. Well, then that's... Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. Mm -hmm. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example, one that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, uh, if you I have. I say no. <laughs> there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, Hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now, why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that 
you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. Who the fuck was Moss? I shall oh. with my life. No? Joshua, was Moss that... I don't remember. If you're finished here, <laughs> join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Was he that dude that we were checking on these stones for? Speaking of, why didn't we ask him about Autumn, it's man? If he's some great, you know, uh, scholar. Fucking Gav, dude. Jesus. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. What was that but about? Joshua doesn't like the plan? Or did he want Joe to come with us? Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> I just keep checking for side quests, man. I'm just <laughs> I fully expect just out of nowhere twenty of them to pop up. Why couldn't he just speak to us in the ale hall? Nobody else was around. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? What was the point of that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Doesn't look too blight infested. It's pretty clear, honestly. Nice. There's grass, there's hills. It'll uh... be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, 
I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you, will save us all? I do. Just punch him again, Joshua, <laughs> just for the hell of it. Then so be it. Bruh, are you so mad you're going to punch him? And then just, like, <laughs> ah, whatever. Just forget. You're not alone. Maybe ask questions first and punch second. I don't know. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that so Joshua fucking dumb, didn't. dude. I don't get it. Kingdom of Walud. What falls in ash? Always wanted to visit Ash. I just gotta check something real quick. Yep. <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. Uh I mean We're in Walud territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. We can that check the hunt board in a minute. Enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Okay, we do have a map of this place. We're gonna go up here, because that looks like somewhere that could hide a hunt. Did I just see the Angry Gap? <laughs> Is that the name of one of these places? Are there at least creatures here? I knew not to expect, you know, people. Remember what but... I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Just before I go to bed, go to bed and hug me. <laughs> oh. Body pillow, man. For sure. It's bedtime. <laughs> so some Akashic dudes. Guess we're fighting them. But I sure oh, was the thingy not working. And have a good night, Rue. I'm hoping to be going to bed myself here relatively soon. I want to get to the next uh, story point. And probably check the hunt board. Not going to do the hunt tonight though, I don't think. Because it is... It's starting to get late and your boy tired AF. See you tomorrow, my guy. Have a good night though, seriously. And I hope uh, cramming for your finals goes well. <laughs> Ow, you dick. Okay, 
I don't expect there to be any hunts like here in the village. Oh, that's an orc. I was like, bro, <laughs> that's a really big person down under there. Big brute of a person. It's a fucking orc. That's why. I mean, is there anything over here? Uh, this is probably a waste of my time. That miss. There's a chest. So glad I went out my way for that. What are all these flies? Hmm, well they're gone now, so... Are those bones or is that splinters of wood? I think it's splinters of wood. Hmm. 15 whole gill, thank god. So glad we went over there. Now, fuck you. Expected that. GG's, GG's. Okay, back this way. Just the chest here. What is up there? Anything of interest? Just looks like the Chocobo stable, so probably not. Although it keeps looping around, maybe? Prematurely finding a hunt would be pretty cool, especially if it's a stained loincloth. Bro, this looks like the perfect place for a hunt. Something gonna jump down, maybe? Ah ha ha! That looks like a fucking stained loincloth if I've ever seen one. Pandemonium, rank S. I think this is the first uh, non-secret hunt rank S that we've seen. Although I guess it could be a secret hunt. We don't actually know that it's not. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> that hurt. Damn, okay. This dude's big and fast as hell. That's not fucking guard. Okay, this dude actually kind of hurts. Okay, he should be close. Oh, man. Okay, he cannot be staggered easily. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, 
Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was sick as hell! Bro, okay. What the hell is- Oh! That's a big boom. Okay, you know what? I need some health. Staggered? Let's go. I think we can get him. We only have one high potion left though. If we get hit by that big attack again, then we are SOL. Bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> that one, that's the one we don't want to get hit by again if we can help it. Oh god. Drop a carrot on the floor. Kitties get all excited. Kitties sniff the carrot. Gives me a look because it's not cheese. Kitties need to learn to chill. Oh, this is the blow up thing. Get back. Okay, well. That worked well. We got nothing, dude. He is halfway, though. No, 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 no. He teleported. What is that bullshit? <laughs> Just keep running. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was scary, dude. Give me a doctor, baby. Uh, <laughs> maybe. You offering your services? <laughs> Such a weirdo. My little weirdo. Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, we had elixir. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get him down <laughs> before we die, dude. You want me to be weird before we start dating? That's okay. You're my weirdo. I don't mind. Don't teleport away. Don't teleport away. Okay. Now we got to get the hell out of here. Could we have the phoenix here, dude? Why? Oh, God. Why doesn't the phoenix heal us?
Come on. Yes, let's go, dude. Give us a stained mulling cloth, please. I mean, it's not even that much better than what we have, but let's go. Okay. Your reign is at an end. But I still want to, like, craft it, you know, nonetheless. It's the best gear in the game, dude. Like, for excuse me, of course I want to craft it. I'm just hoping to find another crystal up here. Maybe it'll be in the angry gap. That way we can teleport back home, make the Ouroboros thing, and then basically finish up for the night and have somewhere convenient to teleport back to. Are we going to be able to open the gate? Oh, there's a lever. <laughs> Pull the lever, Crunk! Hopefully not the wrong lever. It's Camber all over again. Oh man. The hell are the royalists? Seems you are right about that welcome after all five. All dead. Ooh, creepy cave. Sure, there's nothing scurry waiting in here. Oh wait, there's really not. <laughs> okay. Aye, aye. Yes, yes, I am, love. I think we found the welcoming party. Yeah, like a few minutes after. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Uh, d b maybe. Uh, you can go ahead and get yours if you want. I don't care, love. I don't know. Between us and it. We press on to stone here. Hi. You never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth Monsters. <sighs> it just depends on when I find the next crystal to teleport away and back. Clive. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to wait, I don't mind. I'm going to try to be quick, but I just, I just don't know for sure. Older's Phoenix Gate. Perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets. And if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. Couldn't we, like, just help him search for secrets of Ultima? Sure about this. Like, about leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Oh, fuck. My god, dudes. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if, if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. I imagine there'll probably there. be a Resupply. crystal there. Just how much trouble are we going to run into in the meantime? <laughs> Kind of. A fucking mud crabs, dude. How much shit did they steal from Fallout? Reeks like a Joking. Joking. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. I'll turn around here. Which way are we going? Uh, okay. I mean, we can't not check that. Like, the fuck is that little tiny circle off to the side and nowhere for? Still. 
Pyrobisk? Those are new. And they want to fight. This is going to anger everything in the area, but... <laughs> the easiest way to deal with shit in the air, though. Yeah, you know what? I don't care to fight that thing. He looks like he has a lot of health. We're just gonna go up here. Oh, it's just a chronolith. Okay, well. Now we know. Oh, and a new sword? Really? That's cool. I mean, obviously what we have is better, but if we hadn't kept up with side quests and uh, crafting, that would actually be a pretty decent sword. It's only 15 weaker than what we have. That's neat. I mean, they made it pretty obvious that you should check that area <laughs> on the map, but still, at least a little bit of reward for exploration. Try to avoid unnecessary combat. Let's go, dude. It's what we call stealth. Nothing, nothing, okay. Fuck is that thing? Oh, that's one of the slimes. Honestly, just fuck all these guys, dude. <laughs> Look, I'm at the point, I don't mind just running away from combat anymore. We don't need them, it's fine. Just keep going. Maybe, if we can. Can we go over, nope, okay. Who the hell is still chasing us? Ah, oh, I see a crystal though. Until we get like halfway across this bridge and just fucking how much breath. Uh, fall. Don't look down, Toggle. Big drop. Bro, I would not want to live there. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm sure these uh, like little overhang fucking paths were probably in a lot better condition once upon a time, but I would not want to risk it. I just I don't see the point. That must be Estla. Surprise, surprise, it's empty. It's almost like Barnabas is fucking insane. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Too late by uh, a fair bit of time, it seems like. There's nothing we can do. I guess unless they all turn to a cache. Like, I just, I don't see any vultures or any sign of, like, people dying recently, you know? Fuck these guys. They should be dead. I don't really care about the Mastiff. I want the Spellcaster. Any more? Spellcasters, I mean? 
Nope, just doggies. Damn it, dude. Here they come Spellcasters. <laughs> Damn it, Clive. Or not Clive. Gav. Got it for spell. Ah, you dick. Never stop. You're not gonna die, Gav. Calm down. At least, probably not. Oh, there's a big dude over there. Okay. We'll deal with you in just a moment. Or now. I guess now. Damn you. Hold on. Are you a spellcaster? Somebody just cast a spell? Hmm. Wait a second, why weren't you stunned? Why weren't you half staggered, you dick? Oh, whatever, he's dead now. Who else is here? Okay. Haha! <laughs> Boss number two. He's angry, bro. That boy. <laughs> Fuck! I can't. I can't word. It's too late. I'm too tired. Okay, we've struggled with these things before. We actually need to be careful here. Don't lock on to the fu- I don't care about the fucking- Okay, whatever. Oh, fuck. Yep. <laughs> well, at least we're locked on to the right person now. We struggle with this, dude. Bosses, they done. Not 
nothing, nothing good. Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> well, hi there. Didn't expect you to stop by. Have you come to watch, Odin? <laughs> Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital. Though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! Uh... The fuck? Bro, that's a big sword. <laughs> that's a lot of big swords. Spears? The fuck are they? Why does Odin seem so much more powerful than everyone else, dude? Not only, like, just because Barnabas is an amazing swordsman, but just ability-wise, too. What do He's... you do? If the vessel would see the path opened... It has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made... ...presentable. Shit! No! What does he mean, like, not in your current state? Does so it mean he wants us to turn into uh, Ifrit, or that Would you he wants us to collect the rest of the icons just first? Happened. We're gonna get zapped. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> A little more than zapped, oh, maybe. You've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, <laughs> we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Gav, always the voice of reason. Now here's the real question, can we still teleport out? <laughs> I doubt it. All things considered. So did I. Oh, we can. Well, problem solved. <laughs> I mean, if we, if we can just teleport out, then <laughs> we don't have to worry about being trapped in here, right? <laughs> that seems like a bit of a... Unless I'm misunderstanding, is that barrier just around the castle, maybe? The capital? I thought it was around the abandoned village we were in. All right, Nectar, let me see. What you got? Oh, was that it? 
Oh. Oh, and Pandemonium was a uh, secret hunt. Oh, well, shit, dude. Well, fuck. There's still got to be more, then. <laughs> Which means there's probably going to be more side quests to do, too, if that's the case. Because I doubt they're just going to give us a couple more hunts and not give us anything else. Yeah, whatever. Let's, uh, uh Ouroboros. Let's do that. And we got a shit ton of money. Let's go ahead and buy all of the, the items. World, just in case we come across another powerful ass hunt. Uh, not so. Purchase. None of this stuff. Um, that's what, 80,000? Fuck it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Potions. Oh, no. Just refill. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Oh, hush. You're fine, it's Karen. I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Still don't understand how the fuck that last elixir works, dude. How did we die with one of those on our person? What do you want? Was it this one? No, it must have been this one. Aha, right there. Sons of Ouroboros. Two sons did the devourer beget, and like their father, would they look ever forward to the past. Upon placing the smooth leather cuffs upon your wrists, the cinch tightened to your skin in an oddly warm embrace. Removing them requires more effort than it should. Does that mean once we put them on, they I'll won't come off? Myself. That it. Mm. Apparently we've got something new in here. Oh, it was here somewhere. I don't know what it was. Yeah, whatever. Strength, tonic, duration. Nothing we really care about. Fun. Wait, hold on. Go back. The shelves. Hippocrates has got something new for us. I doubt it's important. Uh, this isn't uh, Hippocrates. Wrong way. No, open the doors, damn you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We'd love to get him to max level. We probably have to do the Chronolis, though. Would that unlock lore stuff for Hippocrates? I don't know. Good morrow to you, my friend. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Hey, level six. I have quite the find for you today. Oh. What? What's the find? Uh, I what don't really subject care. shall we consider today? Bestiary Mysteries of the Realm. Blessing the Phoenix, Aether Floods, Aether Tolerance, Inner Sanctum. I don't think I really care about any of this shit, to be honest. <laughs> oh, the Ancient Mural, though. Hmm. <laughs> Is that not us, dude? Like, I know they keep saying that's Ultima or whatever, but that looks like Ifrit and Phoenix cross to me. I don't know. Tagus? Hmm. <laughs> Marks, Orchestrian. The Bonds of Consciousness. Yeah, he does keep talking about that. <laughs> the Fellow Feeling... That binds a person with those they love and who love them. As long as these bonds remain strong, so too does a human's grip upon their will. Ultima casts primogenesis in order to sever these bonds of consciousness, consciousness that humanity might lose their will and turn Akashic. That his vessel might be perfected. Gross. What is primogenesis? Spell cast by Ultima that casts a roiling pall over all Valisthea. The imbalance in the ether that resulted not only sapped the potency of crystals and magic in those lands that remained livable, but filled the rest with floods, turning men and beasts into mindless, merciless Akashic. 
I'll accept the wills of mankind and make all of humanity into soulless servants. Hmm. Okay. The door to well, the shelves shut. Good enough for me. Um, let's go back to where we were, and that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. Drop us down here, drop a save, and just in time, dude. I need a nap. <laughs> a long nap, preferably. And I guess it's only, like, there. So, yeah, it must just be around up here, not backwards. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, teleporting away doesn't break any... It break anything. Makes more sense now. Anyways, guys, as we save here, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me a little bit. While we continue playing Final Fantasy 16, I think we're getting close now. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting close at this point. It seems like we are, at least. Uh, hopefully we'll finish up soon so we can continue playing some of our PS2 games and get back to Final Fantasy X as well. Until then, though, thank you all one more time and uh, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Dick. Unless maybe we can use it as some sort of, like, jump thing, you know? Huh.